needs to get worked out, how to responsibly do this stuff, the environment, climate change, taking care of our planet, feeding the planet, transhumanism, there's some predictions that in 2045 we're going to be able to upload our brains into computers and be immortal. There are people that say that for real, and so, of course, it's not going to happen. I mean, if they try to upload your brain and you die, who's going to tell them you really didn't do it? But we need people who can guide the way with the virtues and the ethics and the correct understanding of the world um, in neuroscience, artificial intelligence, because don't you know, Alexa with her evil laugh is going to get us all. <laughs> <laughs> So I think the scientific revolution is just not complete. A revolution is all the way back around. And I want to leave you with that thought. You're not supposed to end a talk with a new thought, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> I want to leave you with that thought that if science emerged because of a Christian worldview, and it wasn't all by itself, it had the help of all these other cultures, we need to complete the circle. We need to get it back to a reconciliation of faith and science, where faith enriches our science, and science tells us more about God. Thank you.